Hi everyone and welcome to Finish Your Plate. Sailor steak is a classic lunch menu item from schools, cafeterias, that sort of places. A lot of people make it for weekday dinners as well as it's pretty simple to make. It doesn't require a ton of active cooking. It's basically it's potatoes and beef together. Very simple dish. So join me and I'll show you how to make this Finnish classic sailor steak. Sailor steak is a pretty simple dish, but the name is a little bit misleading because there's no actual steak in it. There's just pieces of beef in the casserole. I have here some beef ribs, short ribs. You could use pretty much a lot of different cuts of beef in here. Just make sure it has some of that fat that's going to render out when you cook it. If you use something like round, top round, for example, it might be just a little bit too lean for this dish and it'll come out tough. So first, I'm going to take my potatoes that I have here. Use some waxy potatoes, not mealy potatoes, because this is going to cook for uh, about an hour or so, a little over in the oven. So mealy potatoes, they're going to disintegrate. And also, I just have here a large onion. So I'm going to slice the onion and I'm also going to slice the potatoes with my mandolin over here. Now I've sliced up my potatoes, they're pretty thick slices. You could certainly do this with a knife as well. As, and I also sliced up my onions. So now I'm going to start heating my pan. Add a little bit of butter in here. Put in my onions, cook them for a little bit. Add some salt. While my onion is cooking, I'm just going to prep my beef. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it into steaks like so. Press them just to flatten them out a little bit. You could use a mallet here as well. But now that my onions have softened up, I'm just going to take them, put them in the pan, and wait. going to add more butter in here and now we'll just salt the beef and then we're going to just fry them just very quickly so they get a little bit of color. Do not need to cook this a long time. So I'm putting the salted side down. So I'm going to add more salt to them after. So this way both sides get salted. And now we'll salt the reverse side. And add some black pepper. All right, now we'll turn these pieces over. Now that the beef has browned on both sides, I'm just gonna put it in this bowl where the onions are, together with the onions.
Now I'm going to deglaze my pan with some beer. Some water. And now I'll add some beef bouillon in here as well. Let that cook down a little bit. While my broth is cooking, I'm going to start layering my pan over here. I'm going to start by just rubbing some butter in the pan. And now I'll start with the potatoes. Layer potatoes on the bottom. I think my broth is ready, so I can just turn off the heat. It's going to cook for just a moment. And very last, I'm just going to add a tablespoon of sour cream in here. I mix that in. And after my potatoes, we're going to add a layer of beef and onions. And some salt. And pepper. Now layer the top layer with some of the nicer looking pieces of potato. And now we'll pour our broth in here. This is now going to go into 200 Celsius, about 400 Fahrenheit oven for about hour and a half. Just check up on it through the cooking. Make sure it's not completely dry. It should be moist but not wet. So there shouldn't be, at the end of it, there shouldn't be a lot of liquid on the bottom. Okay, now our sailor steak is out of the oven and it's been sitting on the counter cooling just for a little bit. So we're just going to take Um, sailor steak over here and just serve it like that. You could serve this with a salad or with a little bit of parsley as garnish. And here we go. Finished sailor steak. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Finish Your Plate.